Hey guys, so today I am doing a day and a night look. Um, I've been requested forever to do a day versus night look just to show the contrast and really define what a day look and a night look is to me. I feel like everyone's very different. Someone can be very warm neutrals and like a bold lip and that's their day look. And someone's look might be their night look if that's the same kind of look they go for. Um, everyone's very different and this is very personal so my night look is very smoky with a nice dark plummy lip but it's not too dark. A little bit more heavy on the blush and contour. And then this side's a little bit more glowy, a little bit more light, less eyeshadows, nude liner, and then some like fluttery lashes and a nude lip. So these are my definitions of them. And for the looks today, I use, well, so I use this to create my looks. It's a brand new subscription service. You get a new palette every other month delivered right to your door. It's $29.95, so it's very cheap and a very affordable. Um, for someone who likes to play with makeup in different colors and like to have everything in one so it's a great option I will have everything linked down below and I want to show you quickly what I got in my palette. On the inside, you have your blush, and then a little bit of like a bronzy blush, three shadows, and then on the bottom you have two lip colors right here. And then also it comes with a lip liner right in here. It's a retractable lip liner, so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. Throw it back in here, throw it in your bag and go. It's very easy, simple, but for on the go. So everything's paraben free, cruelty free, and also made in the US, so that's always great as well. And then also before I get into tutorial, be sure to check out the link below to Deco Scarlet if you want to check out any other products. I highly recommend them. Yeah, I'm not going to ramble any further, let's get into this look. And then also don't forget to let me know down below whether you're more of a daytime person or more of a nighttime person. And if you wear something a little bit more intense or a little bit less, comment that down below too, I always love to know. And yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so I did my base off camera, I did my foundation, everything, and then I put a little bit of lip liner on just so I didn't have like powdery foundation lips because I know people love to go crazy about that. Um, so I put a little bit of lip liner on. So yeah, this side is going to be my more daytime look, so we're going to do this side first. My foundation is already on and I don't really vary my foundation too much when it comes to day and night. Like I'll rock heavy contour and all that if I have time to do it. Um, but I mean I don't care if it's like day or night. For me personally, I know some people like to play it down a little bit on the skin. I'll do it all whenever. So, that's just me though. So yeah, let's get into the look. I have my Deco Scarlet palette out. I'm gonna be using just a couple shades just to create a very nice, soft day look. So, let's get into it. I'm gonna be taking this blush shade actually on a big, fluffy brush right into the crease. And this is gonna be my transition color for the day look. I really like using like blushes and different things like that as crease colors when I'm in a rush because it's it's just tiresome to go and look for shadows and you have everything in one. This is, would be like your neutral crease color. This is like your neutral crease color and then you have some smoky shades here if you want to vamp it up. So that's always an option too but for today I'm just taking this neutral shade and kind of like a wash of color and a little bit of transition shade all over. And then I'm going to be taking this shimmery shade right here all on the lid. And I'm going to take the crease color again and just kind of wrap it around and add more to the outer corner. And then I'll take some of the shimmery shade on my finger and just sweep a cloth across the lid. And I'm going to take some of that same crease color on another brush and just sweep it right underneath the eye just to add a little bit of like a smoky haze. And I'm actually gonna mix it with a little bit of this darker shade. And I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the darker shade. And just get it right underneath. And whenever I wanna amp up a neutral look a little bit, I'll just take a darker shade like this 
on a flat definer brush and go really close to the lash line just to really prep for mascara I think like having that dark line right there really helps make the lash line look thicker And I mean, that's pretty much all I'd like to do for an eye look on a daily basis. Um, just something very neutral, quick, and to the point. And then I'm going to add a lot of mascara. Or probably not on camera today. I never do it on camera, but let's do it. So, let me grab my mascara. So now I'm just going to be adding a little bit of mascara. Well, actually a lot of mascara. For the daytime, I usually don't wear lashes. I think I'm going to add lashes today. Just for a little bit of drama. Um, but for the daytime, I usually just do a lot of mascara. Alright guys, so I'm going to take a little bit of both blush colors together on the synthetic brush. This one's more of a powder and it's more of an ashy, like, blush, brownie blush. This one's a little bit more mauve and it's actually cream. I'm going to take a little bit of both together. And kind of blend it into my highlight. I really like when, like, blushes and bronzers blend into the highlight. Especially because this is a cream, so it's kind of just going to give a more youthful look. As you can see, it's very reflective. And usually with creams, I don't have a problem doing over powder, especially if it's a cream like this that's not too emollient and greasy. This one's a really nice cream. Um, I like it just because if I press it, it sits right on top of the skin and looks very like skin-like instead of too like powdery. I feel like powder blushes sometimes can look a little bit chalky on me sometimes. Um, so I like a cream to add that sheen back to the skin and it just looks a lot more reflective that way too. Alright guys, so earlier I used the Oh So Nude Lip Liner from a deck of Scarlet to line my lips. And I'm going to be taking one of the lip colors. And now what I like about this palette is that you separate the actual powders from the lipsticks and they have their own little tab. And I like that because when I'm using a blush or any kind of powder, or even the eyeshadows, I don't want all that powder migrating into these lip colors. So it's nice that it's covered on its own. I'm gonna be using this nude, obviously, on a synthetic brush. So I am gonna add some nice fluttery lashes to my daytime look. Um, just because I feel like lashes really can complete any look in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to be adding those later on. But to finish off my daytime look, I'm going to be using a scent from Scentbird. And if you don't know what Scentbird is, it's pretty much a luxury perfume subscription service. So you can try out like anywhere from Prada to Dior and so many different brands for $15 a month. And it's pretty much like put in a little Scentbird atomizer and you can take it with you. A little skirt skirt here and there, you know? Just because I know that fragrances in general are so expensive, like honestly. I, like I can get down with a lot of things but buying like a $300 fragrance especially with how much like perfume I wear it's just mind-blowing so if I want to try one first I definitely go through Scentbird just so I can try it out for a month and everyone's like natural body just mixes with fragrances different so it's always good to try it out before making that splurge so again Scentbird $15 a month and you get a vial that lasts you a month so you can really get used to a fragrance and really decide whether you want to make the splurge or not and yeah, it's one of my favorite things right now, so definitely be sure to check them out. I'll have everything linked down below as well. Alright, so moving on to my nighttime look. So first things first, I'm going to add a little bit more structure to the face by taking this color right here. It's the nice, more like bronzy blush color. And I'm really going to put that right into my cheekbones just to make sure that everything pops a little bit more. Add a little bit more up here. And I think nighttime is more like all about definition and drama and a lot of glow and a lot of contour and a lot of highlight and it's a lot of everything, okay? Um, so we're going to move into the eyes now. Let me zoom you in a little bit more. Nighttime, daytime, I'm still going in with this shade, the same one that I used to add a little bit more structure to the face. On a transition brush. This is like the perfect transition. It's not too warm, it's not too cool and muddy. I'm really going to build this up because you always want a lot more intensity when it comes to a nighttime look. I'm really going to focus this on my outer corner so I have that definition. And I kind of start to pull it out and almost wing out my shadow. Not really, but it really just brings it out more. For me right here, it's just, it's blended out a little bit. But for nighttime, 
I like to have a lot of definition on the eyes. And I'm going to take a crease brush with that darker shade again. These shadows are super pigmented, so just work with a little bit at a time and really build it up. And I'm going to put this into my crease on the outer corner. And again, working with a little bit at a time so you don't overwhelm the eye space with too much product and you can't blend it out. I feel like that used to be a huge mistake of mine. I would always put so much product and be like, why isn't it blending? But a little bit of time, slowly but surely. So now that I really built up that crease in the outer corner, I'm gonna take a little bit of this green shade on a flat brush. And I'm really gonna press it onto the cheekbone. Onto the eyelid, girl. The cheekbone. I really do enjoy nice forest green colors for fall. I feel like it's very, it's very bold without being too bold, especially this because it's a nice forest green and not like a hot lime green. I feel like this is very nighttime appropriate without being like, oh, she's wearing green shadow. What is that? You know, this is more like subtle, sultry green, not like. Green. There's variations of green. So off camera, I added a little bit of Max Costa Rich Eye Coal. Um, it's a nice, very, very warm brown. So if your eyes are red, it's going to amplify that. I probably shouldn't have used it today just because my eyes are a little bit red, allergies and whatnot. Um, so what I'm going to take now, now that I placed that eye coal, I did a little bit on the top lash line, which honestly can just. Like it doesn't need to be like really organized or anything else. Um, so I'm going to take this darker shade in the middle. And really smoke out the lower lash line. And I'm going to use a little bit of the shimmery shade right there. Just to really make a little bit of a sheen. Right in the little inner corner area. For me smoky eyes, I like them very hazy, very just blown out and then a lot of high impact, la impact lashes. Um, I really do love the green shade all over the lid. I feel like it's very there, but without being too like, oh my god, I, she's wearing green or he's wearing green, you know? So it's a more simple green, just buffed out and just really blown all the way out. And as you can see, you can already tell the difference between this eye versus this eye, you know what I mean? It's just, this one's very wide awake and just open. This one's very like, sultry and like I'm going to dinner, you know? Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of mascara, a lot of mascara actually. I'm going to add the same one I used before. Um, and then I'm going to apply lashes off camera and then we will do the lips and finish off the rest of my nighttime look. Alright guys, so I'm wearing two different pairs of lashes. One side is Mykonos and then the other side is Caviar. Um, caviar is just a little bit more thick so it gives a little bit more intensity to the whole lash in general. Mykonos are thick but a little bit more spread out so I like the fluttery look they give and they don't just close off my eyes completely. So I'm really digging like this nude look but I also like this dark like it just looks like two different things you know. And I'm really loving these Deco Scarlet shadows as well. So now I'm going to be taking another lip color, and this one is the darker color, on the other half of my lips. So I'm just going to take that with a flat shader brush. I'm actually really loving like this plum lip mixed with the nude lip liner and it makes them more like a nice deep mauve and I just love the contrast of like nighttime, daytime, you know? Um, so just to finish off this look, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that cream blush and I'm actually gonna take it by itself on the brush now. So I'm gonna load up the brush, pat it off, and then just dab it on. I feel like this look could do with a little bit more blush to it. And yeah, I mean that pretty much finishes up the nighttime look. So again, for the nighttime look, I'm gonna take my scent Bird Fragrance. This is more of a nighttime scent. For nighttime, I like more like woodsy and like I don't know how to I don't know how to explain it. Like very woodsy and just like more 
overwhelming in a good way. Um, for daytime, I like something more fresh, light, reminds me of like the beach, but still very manly, like aftershave scent. Um, and then for the nighttime, I like something more like woodsy and like sensual. I don't know how to explain it. I, I cannot, for the life of me, explain fragrances. Like, why? How? How do people do it? Um, so yeah, and I will list the fragrances down below as well that I use. I do hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I love making it for you. Let me know which look down below is you and look. For me, I like more of like the daytime. I usually don't wear lashes, but for this look, I wear lashes. But, like the daytime, nude lips, glowy skin. But if you're more of a nighttime, like really bronzy, really sultry and smoky, let me know down below which one's more you. Because I mean, more power to you. You do the nighttime look all the time, bro. Like, I wish that was me. But I just, I, I don't know. Like, it's just not me. It's more like, okay, like I feel comfortable with this thing. I'm playing out, you know? Um, so just tell me down below which one is more you. And also, if you love playing with bold looks and playing with makeup in general, be sure to check the link down below for my deck of Scarlet products that I use. I use the lip liner, the whole face and eyes palette, and then obviously the lips. Again, keep in mind that the lipsticks are separate, so powder is not going to get into them. And the blush formula as a cream is actually really good and comfortable, and my face doesn't feel sticky, if that makes sense. Yeah, that pretty much sums up everything, guys. Um, again, be sure to check down below for all links to everything, and let me know what else you guys like to see. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I think that's it. Until next time, I will see you then.